Hello guys, welcome back to Mezon African Motives, uh, still on Meccano Techniques and for uh, in this platform, we shall be focusing on our precision measurement, which is uh, uh, one of the most important topics that we have in our syllabus. And we need to know exactly how to attempt these typical questions. Not much. Uh, we talked about this similar question that we see here. Uh, so I'm not going to take much of your time for this question and another one uh, from the question paper of June 2022. So we were given uh, 2.1 fig one below shows uh, a 150 millimeter deep uh, V group. So as you can see, we have got a V here. That's our V group with an included angle of 65 degrees, okay? The V group is checked with, uh, with the aid of a 75 millimeter diameter a precision roller, a set of gauge blocks, and uh, a straight edge. Okay, so this is what we just have on this diagram. All right, then the question is, use a sketch and calculate the thickness of the gauge blocks. Okay, so we do not see the gauge blocks in this case, but we asked to calculate the thickness of the gauge blocks. Okay, so which means we have to make adjustments on this diagram. Okay, so I'm just going to utilize this diagram and make adjustments. So take note, we want to calculate the thickness. All right, so let's see what we have here. So let's say this is where I'm just going to put the gauge block. So remember, there will be uh, just somewhere here, guys. I just hope this is going to be fine. I'm not going to make it uh, something else just at this point. All right, so let's say we have got something of this nature. Uh, let me just have my ruler here so that I can uh, quickly show you guys how it is going to look like. All right, then we can just join the top there at the top. All right, that's something of this nature. All right, so we've got something of this nature, guys. Um, So here, what we can see is that there is a distance between these two points. Okay, this is the thickness that we are being asked to calculate. All right, so in this case, I'm just going to refer to this thickness as T, or you can write it as H, okay, or anything, okay? So in this case, let's say this is our T, which is thickness, uh, which is the same uh, as the presentation also from this point to this point here, we've got our T, all right. So how can we calculate this T? Remember guys that uh, I showed you previously that in this case, we can play around with this in a way that we want. Okay, remember from your uh, adjustments, if you can uh, adjust this side, uh, if you continue with this side here so that we can see uh, properly from our adjustments, let's just continue with this side like this. All right, something of this nature. All right, we do the same on this other side. We have a continuation from this side. All right, let's just hope it is going to be clear uh, because here I'm using uh, these instruments. Okay, we continue from this side again. Uh, we know that these angles will be equal from our vertical angles concept. We know that uh, these angles are equal uh, from the, the, the lines that we have joined from the two straight lines, vertical opposite angles are equal. So if this is 65, this is also going to be 65 degrees. Okay, remember also that we have got a circle here. Uh, let's see if it is going to work. Let me try to insert a shape. Okay, that's a circle. Uh, is it going to be fine? All right, all right, all right, it's too big is too big, something of this nature. All right, let's just hope it is going to work. But I, I wonder why is this circle having uh, this thing inside? Okay, anyways, that's how our circle here is like, oh, I'm supposed to use this one. Okay, let's see this one. No, they're the same. Okay, they're the same. They're just the same. Okay, so let me just use this one. I just hope it is clear. All right, so let's say this is where we have our circle here. We are given that uh, actually this was supposed to be bigger than this one. Okay, uh, bigger because this one is smaller, guys. This circle of mine is not exactly what I want it to be. All right, let me try to 
uh, see if I can readjust it. Okay, it was here. Like I want it to be at this point and also, yeah, something of that nature from that point. Or oh, let me just draw it. Because this thing, guys, is making me uh, summer. All right, let me just draw it, guys, because this thing is making me uh, summer here to do this thing. Okay, so uh, I want to have a circle like this, like this here. Right. I hope you understand me. The circle, this is too much. Okay, let's remove this part again and restart. Okay, this is ugly. All right, something of this nature, yes. Something of this nature. All right, something of this nature, exactly. So let's just say this is where we have our symbol. This is where we are going to have our calculations from. Uh, and it's very, very important that you indicate this profile. Okay, so uh, remember that we are asked to calculate this thickness, okay? And if you are to check from this point here, let's say we have got a point here direct to this point, that's a distance which involves of T and the 150, okay? So I'm just going to draw it a straight line from that point there to uh, this one, just a straight line like this. All right, something of this nature straight. And this is dividing our angle of 65 degrees into two. All right, so it is going to divide this angle into two. So this is what I'm trying to have. So this here uh, line, let's say we have got A at this point. Let's say this is our A, all right? Then we have got B at the center. Okay, let's say this is the center where we have got our B and we have got our C at this point. All right, so which means A, B, C, it's a combination of all these. If we add everything together, we are going to have that A, B, C, all right. But we have our thickness here, so we can just make another adjustment from this point so that we can see what is happening on this line. This line, it carries of A, to B, which is the radius, okay? Then from B to C, which is another part of the line that we do not know even about, okay? So that's our AC. So it consists of this thickness. So we can we have that formula. Uh, if we add from A uh, to C, okay, we are going to have, if we, we have this AC, that's a combination of A, B. So we're going to add A to B plus B to C. Okay. Uh, now we have got A, B representing the radius. We, like, like I said, was B is the center, like I said here. So A to B, that's our radius. So which means here we have got a radius. So we can write this equation as A, C is equivalent to the radius plus B, C. All right. We do not know B, C. Okay. And also we do not know this the thickness that we have, okay. But there's something that I want you to see. From this point here, from this point A to this point T we've got thickness. And we have got also B to C, which consists of 150, uh, this B to C. 150 is inside of this one, all right. So which means if we are to have this as our thickness, we can say, AC can be written as, let's write it aside here, A to C can be written as T, which is this part of the thickness, plus from this point here, which is 150, from this point to this point, which is 150. Okay, so this one, we just write it as 150. So that means we can make T the subject, okay? We can transpose 150 to make T the subject instead of uh, transposing T. Uh, let's transpose 150 to the left-hand side so that it can be a negative. So that means T is equivalent to one AAC minus 150 from this formula. Okay, so this is the formula that is going to have our T, okay? Uh, we, because we are saying if we add from this T here, if we add T and 150, this is AC from A to C. 
That's T plus 150. Okay. So I want you to be very, very careful, guys. Okay. Now at this stage, how can we calculate AC? Because we can see that by finding AC, we can find T. But also here we have AC, which is taken from the radius of which we can calculate the radius because remember we are given that the diameter in this case uh, we are given shows 150 millimeter deep and the diameter is 75 millimeters. So that means we can say uh, the radius is equivalent to the diameter over two. So the radius is diameter over two, which is 75 over two. So 75 millimeters over two, that's 37,5 millimeters. So we have the radius, which means we have got this one. We are left with BC. Okay, how can we calculate BC? That is the question now. From B to C here, this is what we have from B to C. Okay, I want you to see, remember B is the center. So if you join B to this point, which is on this line by joining here, we are formulating in 90 degrees why a radius meets a tangent at 90 degrees. So this is going to be at 90 degrees. All right. And remember that we said from B to this point, it's a radius. So that means we have got 37,5 a radius uh, from this point. Also, you could have taken from this way. Also, I don't know which way do you want uh, because this is going to be a kite. So which means we have got 37,5 for the radius. Okay. And also from the 65 degrees here, if we divide by two, because this is a kite, if we divide by two, we are finding this angle or finding this angle here. So that means 65 degrees divided by two, which is going to be something like 32,5 degrees. So here inside this triangle, we have got 37,5 degrees. Okay, I hope you understand me guys. I want you to see something. This is a right angle triangle, we've got B, to C, let's just say, name this point, we used A, B, C, so let's just say now we are at D. So I'm going to take this triangle from B to D to C or B, C, D, okay? Let's use that triangle, triangle B, C, D, okay? So using triangle B, C, D. If you saw triangle B, C, D, it's, it's, uh, I want you to see it again here. It's this, this is a right angle triangle like this, okay? So I've got a right angle triangle, of this nature. All right, this is what we have there. That's a right angle triangle of this nature. Okay, where this is your B, this is your D, and this is your C. And it was right angled at D. And we said BD is a radius from point B, the center, to the circumference of a circle. So that's a radius, 37,5. So we have got 37,5 here. And we also have this angle C which is 32,5. Remember, we calculated this and we got 32,5. So which concept can we use now to calculate this BC? Because it is the one that we need to calculate. So to find BC, we can use our solving triangles. Remember, this is opposite to, to 35. So we've got that opposite and the BC is the hypotenuse, which means we are back to sine. That's from our soccer to our saw here, sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of 32,5 degrees, all right, the sine of 32,5 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, the opposite 37,5 over the hypotenuse, which is BC. So as you can see, we can calculate BC. So you can cross multiply here because this is same as over one. That's BC sine 32,5 degrees, which is equivalent to 37,5. So to find BC, we can divide by sine. That's BC is equivalent to 37,5 over sine 32,5 degrees. Okay, so we can have our BC from our calculator. Uh, that's if we are to simplify this properly, uh, we are going to obtain something like uh, 69, 793 uh, millimeters. Remember the other dimension was in millimeters. So this is going to be also in millimeters. All right. So we have BC, which can give us AC. Remember AC is the one that is limiting us to find T. So we can calculate AC from this information because we said AC is the radius, which is 
37,5 plus BC. And our BC is 69,793. Okay, so if we add properly, we shall have our AC in this case, which is going to be 107,293. Okay, so this is our AC. So to find the thickness, which is T, we say the T is AC minus 150. So T is going to be AC, which is 107.293 minus 150 degrees, whereby we shall have our T uh, as. So I want you to see, we are subtracting a smaller, a, a bigger number from a smaller number, which was actually very, very wrong from this information. Okay, so the actual sense, AC was supposed to be bigger than 150 because that's what we see here. AC, it's bigger than, but due to the information that we are given here, it does not tally with what exactly was supposed to happen. If you have to cross check, we did this question, if you, if you still remember. This AC is supposed to be bigger than the length that we obtain because we are supposed to subtract 150 from AC to find T. As you can see, guys, here, this is your AC from A to C. So if you subtract 150, you remain with T. So this information did not tally. So they didn't check their values properly while it's working with this question. Okay, so anyways, we shall just write our T as a positive, okay, which is going to be 42.707 uh, millimeters. Okay, so that was the value for T. So please check this one properly. Uh, you are going to see this information did not correspond properly on that one. Okay, anyways, uh, that's what we had uh, from this person. We are going to see the second person, uh, the second person, uh, which is, uh, let's see. All right, so the second person, that was 2.2. So on 2.2, we are given uh, fig 2 below shows external uh, duvetal material. Uh, sorry, machined to an angle of 40 degrees, sorry. So that's an external vector, which is being machined to an external angle of 40 degrees. Two precision rollers, uh, each 15 millimeters in diameter, are used to test the angles for correctness. Okay, use the given dimensions and calculate the distance X between the inside, which is this one. Also, this question, we worked with this type of a question, if you still remember from uh, some of the videos that I did before. So uh, I think this one is clear, it does not have much. Okay, so remember guys, we want to calculate X. We are given the diameter, 15 millimeters, the angle of foot, okay. So what can we do? Okay, we have got 110 millimeters in this case. Okay, so I want you to see the adjustments that we can uh, actually do in this case, okay. We can make adjustments here. From the 110, because this is a horizontal line, so we are going to work with 110, okay? So from these adjustments, let's say we have got a distance from this point here to this point, which is the same as the distance from this point to this point, okay? So I, you can just use letters of your choice, whatever that you want, but for me, I'm just going to use this as y, okay, but you can just use letters A, B, C, whatever that you want, okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this point to this point. I want this point here. So let's just say this is A, B, all right? So we've got A to point B, then from B to this point direct at this point here at the circle here, which is the radius here from B to C. So this is our C. Then we can take again direct to this point, which is our D, all right? Then at this point, we can say this is our E and this is our F, okay? So from A to B is the same as E to F, okay? It is the same as this one, E to F. This distance is the same. So in this case, we can just write this as Y or Y like that because it's the same distance, okay? Also, I told you from B to C, it's a radius. As you can see, it's from the center to the circle. Center to the circle. So you divide 15, which is your diameter. Remember, your diameter is 15 millimeters. So radius, that's diameter over 2, which is 15 divided by 2. That's 7,5 uh, millimeters in this case. Okay, so which means 
from B to C here, we have got uh, 7,5 millimeters, 7,5. Also D to E, we have got uh, 7,5. Okay, so let's see, how can we calculate X? X is a combination also, which is part of from C to D. This is your X, from C to point D here. From this point C to point D, it is the one that is representing X. So that means combining everything that we have that is comprising of A to F. We can write this that A to F, it's a combination of A to B, that's A to B plus B to C, which is the radius, all right, plus C to D, right, which is our X. So that's CD plus D to E, which is a radius again. So D to E, that's our radius plus E to F. All right, so I want us to see A to B, we do not know this one. So we said we can write this as Y, okay? BC, that's our radius, which is 7,5. CD, that's our X, okay? Uh, DE, from that's our radius again, which is 7,5. EF, that is our Y, okay? So that means AF, which means this one from A to F, which is this 110 millimeters, okay? It's a combination of, so you can write 110 millimeters is equal to uh, Y, which is the one that we want, we, this one. We do not know this Y here. So it's going to be Y plus Y, which is 2Y plus the radius B, C, and D, E. So remember, so this is going to be 2R. So we've got two radius plus X, okay? But our radius, remember, it's uh, 7,5. So if you multiply, you're going to obtain back 15. So this is going to be like this. 110, 110 is equal to 2Y plus 2 times 7,5, which is 15 plus X. So to find X, we are going to transpose all this to the left-hand side. So that's 110 minus 2Y minus 15 is equal to X. Okay, so this is where we are going to have our X from this formula. Okay, so that's 2Y minus 15. Okay, so where can we have this Y here? Where can we have this? Okay, so this is what we are going to do. We are going back now to the diagram. Y is representing A, B, or, or E, F. Okay, so that's A, B. So how can we calculate from A to B? Okay, I want you to see something here. By joining from the center of the, of the circle here, from the center to A like this, all right? Then from the center to the circle here, we have formulated a right angled triangle. Let's say this is the center O. So we have formulated a right angled triangle. And remember, this is 40 degrees. So also it means this is 40 degrees, okay? And we know that from our Z angles, if this is 40, this is 40. These two lines, they are parallel to each other. So if this is 40, the whole of this angle is also 40 degrees, okay? So the whole of this angle is going to be 40 degrees, okay? So let me just write it properly. So that's 40 degrees. So what it means is that by formulating a kite here, because we are going to have another part like this one, so that's a kite. So this you divide by two, which is going to be 20 degrees, all right? 40 divided by two is 20. So now you have a right angle triangle with the D to B representing the radius, which is 7,5. So which means we are going to have triangle or AB, okay? So let's try, let's take triangle or AB, taking triangle or AB. All right, we saw that our triangle or AB is like this. So it's like this one. So that was our triangle or AB, this one here. We have got O, A to B, all right? So this is our O, which is at the center, our A and our B. So remember, OB is the radius, which is the one that I said is 7,5 by dividing there. So that's 7,5 millimeters here or just 7,5. Okay, so this angle is the one that we divided 
inside the triangle is now 20 because this will be 20 and also this one will be 20. You just divide, okay? So that's 20 degrees. So inside the triangle, we have got an angle of 20 degrees, all right? What else? So this is the only information. So we can calculate A, B because A, B represents Y. So by calculating A, B, we are calculating Y. So which ratio can we use? This is opposite. This is adjacent. So that one is for tower. Opposite of adjacent, which is tan. So that's tan of 20 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is 7,5 over the adjacent, uh, which is Y in this case. Okay, so you can calculate Y by cross multiplying. Y tan of 20 degrees is equal to 7,5. So to find Y, we can simply divide by tan uh, 20 degrees. Okay, so if you divide by tan 20 degrees, we have the value for Y in this case, which is uh, 20,606. So that's 20,606 uh, millimeters. Okay, so if Y is 20,606, therefore we shall substitute this into this formula to calculate our X because we said X is equivalent to 110 minus 2Y, which is two times Y here, which is 20,606 minus 15. So we subtract 15 in this case. Okay, so this is going to be to give us the value for X, which is going to be something like 5378 eight millimeters. So you see, this one was a proper question. Everything is fine. Um, everything was direct. Okay, so these are the typical questions, very, very typical exam questions that you are going to find in your final exams. Okay, so you have to revise as much question papers as you can, revise as much question papers as you can. But that's what we had, as you can see, it was a total of seven marks. So, uh, you can actually obtain these seven marks by just following these stages and revising more questions also. So that's what we had, guys, for Mason African Motives, still on mechanical techniques and for till we meet again. <laughs>